Hi everybody. So today I want to show you how to create a fantastic live uh, desktop wallpaper that you can see here. Plus, if you don't like this one, there are hundreds of other live wallpapers you can choose from. So let's dive right in. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is open up a web browser. So I'm just going to open Chrome and then just type in live wallpaper windows and press enter then scroll down to you see this one which is my live wallpapers.com but then you want to click on the how to menu item and then click on mlw software for pc just click on that then scroll down until you see the download button and just click on that and then that's going to download that to your downloads folder. Uh, so that's just head into the downloads folder. And you can see there, there is a, a zip file. So we want to extract that. So just right click. Uh, I'm on Windows uh, 11, but I believe the same for Windows 10 and 11. And just click extract all. And then just choose the destination for where you want to extract that file. Once that's extracted, you'll see a new folder. Double click on that, and then you've got an executable. So first thing we'll do is just install the live wallpaper app. So just double click, and then just run through uh, the prompts. This one's just asking you where you want to install it, and then create a desktop item, which I'm going to do as a nice useful shortcut, and then press install. I'm not going to run that right now, so just unclick the run the app and click on finish next thing you want to do is head back to the live uh, wallpaper website and this time you want to click on this one live wallpapers and then choose from one of the themes for your live wallpaper i'm just going to go for the abstract one and then just scroll through these to find the one you want so this is the one uh, that i installed and showed you at the beginning of the video so just click on the one that you want to and then once you've done that, just click down. You can preview that so you can see what it's going to look like before you go ahead and download it. And if you like it, scroll down and then choose the resolution that you like. I'm going to choose a 1280p times 1120. And then just hit the download button. And that'll download the downloads folder. And there it is. You can see the, uh, the wallpapers there. Now, the next thing you want to do is uh, head back to the desktop. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open up the My uh, Live Wallpaper app. Just a quick double click. Once that's open, you can see there's quite a nice simple interface uh, in terms of menu items on the left here. Uh, you've got a quick start menu. You can manually add a video, some music and create playlists. I'm just going to use the quick start menu uh, for this example today. So the first thing you want to do is hit this browse button. And what you want to do is go to the folder where you downloaded uh, the uh, live wallpaper. Mine was in downloads. So all you need to do is to select that folder and confirm selection. Once you're in there, all you need to do to get this running in the background at the bottom there, it says activate quick start. So just click on that. And then within a few seconds, you can see the live wallpaper playing. Let me just minimize that. So you can see there's a live wallpaper playing. I think it looks absolutely brilliant. Hardly uses any resources in terms of uh, CPU and RAM. Uh, so you don't need to worry about that. Most machines have got more than enough CPU and RAM to run things like this. Let me just go back into the app. There's a few other settings you can play with here. You can slow down or speed up uh, the wallpaper. This one I think works best on 100%. And what you can also do, if you download multiple uh, wallpapers, you can also use this checkbox to decide uh, how many minutes or hours uh, between each rotation to the next wallpaper. Anyway, I thought that was a, a really useful feature to have, it really uh, smartens up your uh, Windows 10 or 11 uh, desktop with a nice live wallpaper. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing and then maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everybody.